Another bit of health philosophy that can help you make healthcare decisions properly is what we call the funnel of health. With the funnel of health, hopefully you're starting out up at the top of the funnel where all of your systems and organs and tissues are healthy and you have no symptoms and you're feeling great. When you start to have problems with a health decline, there are steps that you can take to help. Some of these are simple yet really powerful changes, including things like changing your diet, taking vitamins, taking herbs, performing rolling on your muscles, a stretching program, uh, starting an exercise program, as well as other things, including using the eAccuHealth app that you're using. The next level down the funnel is where you may want to take some more aggressive steps like over-the-counter painkillers or going to an alternative healthcare provider like a chiropractor, everybody should have one, an acupuncturist, and if you find the right doctor, these two can actually be the same ones, seeing your massage therapist or seeing a personal trainer. If your health problem at that point still continues to get worse and doesn't improve, then you may need to take more aggressive steps. And this would include things like prescription medications. If things continue to get worse, then even more aggressive steps may be in order, like more aggressive medications or shots or even surgery. If you want to be healthy, then you need to work to ensure that these are only short-term measures though. Let's take an example. Let's, let's say you have diabetes and you're on metformin, which is a common diabetes medication, and you go to injected insulin for your diabetes, but you don't want to do that for the long term, like being in a situation where I'm going to start injecting insulin so I can drink soda pop more or something like that. It's really not a good idea for your health. If your health decline continues, then eventually you fall out the bottom of the healthcare funnel and you die. And we all have to die eventually. But I personally don't want to linger for years or even sometimes decades at the bottom of the funnel where you're constantly feeling horrible, you have to take aggressive medications to keep from getting worse, and you're being a larger burden on yourself and your family. My wife always says, you have to choose your hard. It's hard to work to stay healthy, but it's also hard to be sick all the time. But it's your choice that everyone has to make that choice. For every positive health choice you make, it brings wellness into your life. And in doing this, it's, you're being a positive example to those around you, people in your family. And in that way, you're also helping us with our mission, and that's to bring wellness to the world.